You've heard of Superman, you've heard of Spider-Man, Batman and many more, but there's a new hero on the block and this one is much closer than you think. So, criminals beware, <laughs> hailing all the way from the Isle of Wight. Some call him the Poundland Power Ranger. He calls himself the White Knight. Here he comes. Welcome, White Knights. Come and have a seat. Hello. Nice to meet you. Just a deep pound for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> it is so nice to meet you. And we can't actually reveal too much about who you are, of course, because we don't want to give your identity away because it is a secret. And actually, Phil and I don't have a clue anyway. But what we can say is that you originally started out as part of the Justice Alliance Initiative. So tell us a bit about that and what they do. Well, what I did was I wanted to find a way to help the community a bit more because I've always been doing sort of donations to charity, some local island events for charity. Yeah. But I wanted to find my own way of getting out there and just helping the community make it a better place. And I came across uh, some documentaries on YouTube about uh, the RLSH, Real Life Superhero Movement. It's more common over in America, but there are some over here as well. Mm. And I thought it would be a really good thing to um, set up my own superhero persona. So I approached a few people who've been doing this for a while, and one of them uh, asked me to join their team. And he was a really nice guy. We keep in regular contact as well. And he operates in Virginia, in America, and they've also got some in Harrisonburg but uh, none over here yet. So he kindly asked me if I'd like to start my own branch up, sort of a branch of the Justice Alliance Initiative over here in the UK, mm. because there, are, there is another company, an organisation called the Initiative Collective. They operate in Liverpool and London. Right, mm -hmm. okay, yes. Uh, but this is the first of our organisation over here. So, so um, White Knight, what do, you, what do you do? What's your job? I... Basically, I just want to help the community in any way I can. So I go out on patrols. So I'm, I'm basically a neighbourhood watch or a street pastor, but wearing a superhero outfit. Right. And it identifies more with the kids. They see it as like a beacon of hope. I bet they love it. They absolutely love it. I've had so many high fives the last week. They're really taking to it. So how have you... So what sort of reaction have you had? Because you were, there were some girls throwing stones at a house the other day, weren't there? Yeah, they... They were throwing stones sort of at properties uh, as they were walking along, and they've seen me immediately drop them because they, they thought I was I a ninja. Did, yeah. Well, I mean, you'd scare the bejesus out of me if you came, if I, if I was doing something wrong and you suddenly a a appeared. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of the reason why is because they weren't used to me yet. Now, I've, I've been in the local newspaper, I had an article in there, and obviously in the Times, more people are getting used to me. And so, what do the police say in the local area about what you're doing? Are they OK with you sort of taking things into your own hand? Well, what I've done is I've made it clear to them I'm not a vigilante, I'm not Batman, I don't go out to punish people, I don't go out to beat up gangs of people yeah. or put loads of kids in prison or anything like that. I'm just just a neighbourhood watch in a superhero outfit. And I'm just trying to do my bit to make the community a better place. And if one person sees me and decides, look at this guy, look what he's doing. He's doing really good for the community. He's putting across a good message. I want to volunteer somewhere. I want to be like him. I want to make a donation to charity. If someone does that, I know I've done my job. I mean, this all sounds very admirable. Why hide your identity? I think with anything, there's always going to be negative comments. I have faced quite a bit of negativity over the last few weeks. Have you? Like with the... There has been some creative comments, but I'm kind of used to it, really. Mm. I'm used to be a doorman. You hear quite a lot of uh, creative insults. I'm an online gamer, a lot of creative insults. Right. And I'm always a firm believer that you use your enemy's weapons against them. So... The true superhero way? Yeah. I have been called a Poundland Power Ranger, and now I've used that in my advertising, and they're, they're absolutely loving it. Mm. Loads of people are suggesting different avenues I go down to expand my message. <laughs> and I, I basically want to look at the community, and I've seen it, yeah. and it's so divided. 
What uh, what do you do? You have like a tool pack? Have you got? To, I, I wear a utility belt. Yeah. A lot of people think I carry weapons, but under UK law, no weapons, nothing that can class. What, what have you got? <laughs> so what, 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 what are belt? your tools? What I've got, I've got. Uh, a anything I can do to help the community, really. I've got a first aid kit, I've got a charger pack with a charger lead in case oh. someone's on a night out, their phones run out of charge, oh, they need so, to bring home. That's so handy! I've got uh, some information cards just to hand out about what I do, sort of spread the word around, flashlights, and anything I can use, really, to help anyone out in any way when I'm out. Yeah. And I it, think that's brilliant. I think, I think it, I, honestly, I really think it's lovely what you're doing. Thank you. Because I think, you know, within sort of communities, people aren't doing enough and people aren't going, walking up and even talking to people. And, and you're making that first step, aren't you, really? Yeah, the, the whole community's divided, really. Over the last few years, especially, everyone's become more distant from each other. They're not helping each other out enough. They're just not looking out for each other at all. So I want to be their sort of... I've been referred to as a beacon of hope. Especially, uh, especially with the kids, with someone to look up yeah. to, really, uh, as they grow up, because a lot of the kids bringing up nowadays yeah. are wrong. They bring, get brought up in the society where you don't talk to each other yeah. enough, you don't help each other well, out. Well, we love your message. We do. I Keep don't know how you're going to get back to the... Uh... <laughs> Isla White, don't know how you're going to do that. <laughs> don't want to, don't want to know, don't no, spoil the secret of how you transport yourself around. But thank you very thank much. Thank you, White Knight. It's a pleasure to meet you. To meet you. One, uh, uh, one more thing I'd just like to say is I am autistic and I have been all my life, but it was a late diagnosis. Right. So growing up, I really wanted someone to look mm. out for. To, look, yeah. look up, look up to, to. What'll be like what'll be amazing about that is that because um, unfortunately we've got a break bearing down on us now, which we're going to have to go to. But um, but one of the amazing things is you'll be able to use that in schools as well, which yeah. will be fantastic. yeah. I have been approached by some schools. I'll bet. I'll who bet. Want me to give a chat to the kids about yeah. following your dreams and do well, you're a great example. Don't care about the negative comments. Yeah. Do what makes you happy in life. Thank you, White Knight. Well Thank done you. you very much. Thank you very much we'll indeed.